fight coming up next. It's a UFC heavyweight showdown. So here we go with round one, and when you have what looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler, it doesn't always play out that way, but given what these fighters said to us on Thursday, the game plans seem pretty clear. They're very clear game plans, but which one of them is able to implement the game plan most effectively? The grappler will try to get forward, get close, try to secure takedowns. He's even willing to pull guard to make sure that he is in a grappling situation. The striker needs to stay at space. The striker needs to maintain distance and fight behind that beautiful jab he possesses. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? And a knee. Oh, here's the head kick. It's blocked. Reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, how about the right hand from Francis and Goff? You don't really understand. After you take a head kick like this, that is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Beautiful point. Engaging in the clinch here once again. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. His opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the This could be the beginning of the end. This ground and pound fighter. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Nice head kick. Oh, looked like that left hand found the target. Found the target as it has on so many occasions tonight. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. to go in the round. Finish the fight. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad. Second round underway. Big call for the man. Now he gets back in range. Liver kick. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Overhand punch to the head. It doesn't get there. It was telegraphed and it was blocked. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. And 
potentially a critical takedown here. Both fighters get up now. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the court. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh! Again, they will clinch. Oh, collar tie. All right, boy, Ty clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very... Oh, man, look at that. Fit very perfect. Got to the leg. Got to his position. Got another. Beautiful takedown. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, huge connection there! He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Double leg shot. Oh! Massive slam! That'll change the complexion of this one. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. 20 seconds to go, round two. Big kick lands. Straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch land, and he's got him hurt very bad. Ten minutes in the book. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed. Deep breath. Deep breath. Great. Last round coming up. You got five minutes. I want you to go out there and finish this fight. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. Watch this dude work on the mat. He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Back to the feet. All right, so he's landed. Nice takedown land. All right, going for a single leg takedown here. That is usually his takedown attempt of choice and works out for him. There. Absolutely. He is comfortable. He is home when he's in on a single leg. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. A lot of top pressure being applied here. 